Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In this video, what I'm simply going to do is to help you build your custom content calendar straight inside of Canva. Everything is going to be done within Canva so you don't have to worry at all. And I'm going to be walking you through everything step by step so you don't get lost, okay? And this is for anyone who runs their business. If you're a social media manager, if you are content planner, look, if you have to do anything that needs social media, I think this is one of the best content you should watch. So get your seatbelt ready get your laptop ready and without any further ado let's jump straight into canva and let's get started so here we are and we are simply going to first of all search for canva sheet which is one of the sweetest features in canva now okay so that's what we are going to be using i created a video about it some time ago but we are just going to be using it extensively in this particular tutorial so let's get started the first thing we would want to do is we you know we are basically starting from scratch but let's choose something okay so you can choose any of these blank designs and just say replace current page okay so you can just replace it and this is what you have at least something to start with okay then all we'll just do is to come into the blue area just double click on the first cell cell a1 just double click and you can just rename this so I would say African Geek Content Calendar. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. And you can see how it's located. Very, very, very sweet. So for content calendars, there are a few columns you need, you know, just to make it fully fledged. Some of the columns you'd actually need, the date, the platform, content pillar, post types, the post idea, caption, the social media design, hashtags, call to action, the status, if it's published or not, likes comments shares just to be able to track your analytics okay so these are the columns we are going to be building out for our content calendar so let's just go into canva and let's freeze you know dice a freeze let's build them out so we'll first of all come here and set this to date okay so just do the same date the second one we want is just going to be platform okay then we'll come to the post type just in case this is too small for you let me just increase it so that at least you can see what i'm doing then we'll just come to the post title or idea okay in fact instead of just stating it i'll just use a slash just to make things easy then we'll put caption over here caption that we have the media okay or asset that would come here to say hashtag then we would say cta which is a call to action the status or we can simply say post status all right then we'll just come in just put likes let's say comment and maybe shares you know these i think the main ones you should look out for okay so this is what we've done so far now with a date in canva instead of you typing out the date it's just going to be a lot if you have to be typing them out you know every single time i think it's going to be stressful to make things easy come to actions okay over here and we'll just search for date okay this is what we have at the moment so we'll just click on it once you click you're able to choose a date and you can see it gets replaced so you, all you need to do is to just click and select the particular date you want so let's assume we want to post this next month okay so next monday which is first september okay next month yeah so we would also come here and create a drop down okay for the platform so we'll just say drop down and put this over here so just to create a new one then we'll just click and we'll edit this one so to edit make sure you're taking note of this pencil or the edit icon okay so once you click on that first of all say instagram then we'll click done come to the second one just edit we can say tick tap okay then and we can maybe put linkedin i don't know if people still post to facebook but let's assume these are the three main platforms leaving them like this is fine but you know i like to add some color so instagram is usually like a purple sort of okay so i will just maybe come into color and fix it here and just to choose you know a purple sort of for instagram so i'll choose that for instagram tiktok i'll use this kind of blue for tiktok okay linkedin is also blue then for tiktok yeah let's let's choose another color look it's our, it's our design so we can decide what we want to do with it okay so maybe we'll use a red for tiktok which i think is fine then linkedin can be the blue 
Okay, so this is what we have. So once you just choose the platform, the post is going to, okay, if you want. Then the content pillar, not content type, content pillar. So there should be content pillar before your post type. Okay, so just add a new column. So you can add it to the left. Okay, and this is what we have. And we'll just say content pillar. And with this, we'd we'll also use a drop down. You can easily copy this and edit. So we we'll just make sure you're just clicking the corner, okay, of it. And we just come here and we can edit. So we can see tutorials, okay. So it can be a tutorial. It can be, you know, maybe tips or tricks, okay. It can be, you know, content pillar. It can be inspiration, okay. So we'll just say inspiration over here, inspiration, okay. So that's what we have. And it can also be sponsored post just in case you get to have those type of stuff. So just add a new option and say sponsored. Okay, so sponsored post. And that is what we have over here. Okay. Now let's change the colors as well. For the sponsored post, we can change the color to maybe any color of our choice, maybe to a brown. And we'll just say this would pop up. Or you just choose just this one. Okay. Yeah. And that should be fine. So that once you come here, if it's inspiration, we'll just do that. Now, what type of content is it? Is it going to be view? Is it going to be carousel? You know, we would also add that also over here. So instead of going all the way to the top to create you know, a new drop down, we can just, you know, click and drag. Okay. Then we can edit. So we'll say view. Okay. Just come here and we'll just say carousel. Okay. So you can also say single post to single post. And I think these three should be fine. Then for this, I can delete it. Okay. Then we just update this one. That's all we need. Now the post title and idea, we are going to use AI to generate all of these ones for us. So we'll skip the post title. We'll skip the caption. We'll come to the media assets. Okay. And this is how you can link your designs into Canva. So we can just come here and search for link. Okay. Once you search for link, you should see this add a link or search. Okay. So if you have any design in Canva, for example, I created, I've created some Sunday post before, so I can just say Sunday and it should search and you can see we have them over here. So once you know the particular design you are looking for by the title is, you know, you just select it and it should be added over here. You can see very nice. It's been added. So that's the design in here. Now that's is done for you. Let's come to the post status. Let's go back here and create a new drop down because there are some templates for the drop down. Okay. So you can see the status. Yeah. This is something we could use. Maybe in progress, we can edit this to say not shared. Okay. So not shared. And for the green, we can change it to published. Okay, and with this one, you can you can put this as still working on it. Okay, still working on it. So that's something I think we could do. And yeah, just say not started for now. So this is what we have at the moment. Now with the post titles, we could use the Canva AI to generate that. So I'll just select this, you know, all these columns. Come to actions, okay, and come to magic right. Now if I come to magic right, I'll just say create content about if it's mental health mental health that can be posted on social media okay so that's what we want to do so once we do that canva should generate you know all of them for us so you can see it's done that way so we just do insert and they've all been added okay so once you have it still like this you can see they are overlapping just search for this text wrapping okay just make sure you're searching for text wrapping once you select it nice it cleans everything up for you and you see what we have at the moment and you can do the same for caption that if you come to caption we can just also see that you know you can use magic right but let's select everything here first come here you know into magic right and we'll just see based on column e right suitable captions okay so then we'll just Click on it and Canva should write everything for us. But you can see how we have it at the moment. Then we just insert, then text wrapping, we just wrap. So once you have all the designs added, you can see when you highlight, it shows up. So we have all your designs here like this. You can also just come here, just duplicate. Okay. Then you only have to change dates as and when you want to post this design. All right. Then we'll also do this over here.
now for the hashtag and call to actions let's generate the hashtags first okay you can just come to magic right again and say write hashtags so the posts okay so that's what we are going to say canvas will just write everything for us oh that's that's so beautiful that's so beautiful we added it over here and you can see how we are building it and we'll also do the same for you know the call to action so the call to action is also the same over here so right i'll just say right suitable ctas for posts so once you do that and you come here we just click it should generate everything for us so you can see what we have over here so we just insert and just use the wrap and this is what we have for the like share comment you can ask and when you post you can just come here to fix you know the numbers in there just to make your content calendar come to life and you can see how we've been able to build a whole content calendar in canva just using you know canva sheets and the magic byte in canva and i hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial let me know what you think and without any further ado let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and yeah i'll see you in my next video